The smartphone industry is already highly competitive since there's so many products available from so many different producers. However, the premium end of the market has historically been controlled by Apple and a small number of other businesses including Samsung and others. The upcoming Tesla smartphone, which is anticipated to be the next big thing in the smartphone industry, it might have the same impact as the 2007 introduction of the original iPhone, is about to change that though. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll go into great detail regarding the new Tesla Pi phone, which is here to destroy Apple's iPhone legacy. But before we begin, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. With that said, let's get started. The Apple iPhone is a fantastic smartphone and a shining illustration of the pinnacle of human ingenuity and inventiveness. Although Android smartphones have made considerable advancements over the past 10 years, they still fall short of the seamless experience provided by Apple's coveted iPhone. There are several reasons why people consider iPhone superior. Bloatware has a substantial negative influence on the overall performance of your Android phone. Without rooting your phone, it's very hard to permanently remove these apps from your device. There are very few smartphones with a better camera than the iPhone 13 Pro because Apple has developed the iPhone camera to perfection. The most recent iOS update is available as soon as it's released for compatible Apple devices. Android device systems upgrades are more difficult. But now, Tesla is probably seeking to build a smartphone that the majority of people can afford because it's obvious that not everyone can buy one of the company's electric automobiles. This is true even if the smartphone will compete in the premium smartphone sector. The Model Pi will likely feature a futuristic style and a lot of curved design similar to Tesla's vehicles. But once more, one may anticipate their presence considering that Tesla is renowned for its simplistic looks. There are currently rumors that Tesla cell phones could also work in Mars. No one has yet traveled to Mars, and if no one is there, you probably don't need a smartphone there. Thus, we think that these rumors aren't true. You don't need a smartphone to survive in Mars. You need to access to air and food supplies. Alternatively, it's possible that Elon Musk is not who we perceive him to be. Why do people still buy iPhones? Apple's amazing marketing strategy has led to people continuing to buy iPhones. Apple's other goods don't even come close to competing with the iPhone as the company's most popular item. There are several valid reasons why people opt to get an iPhone, but social standing is the key one. Undoubtedly, Apple's control over its products, notably the sorts of CPUs used in its phones, which results in software that's largely carefully tuned, is the iPhone's other advantage. So we'll concentrate on battery life and the overall user experience. You get a rich in-hand sense with whichever Apple phone you select. And trust me when I say that feeling is one you won't get from using any hard plastic body phone. The physical configuration of the iPhones is the finest and it feels like you're holding a high-end phone. As you become accustomed to the Apple environment, the Apple software and its apps, it starts to seem much more structured. iOS is simple to operate. Apple uses a propriety operating system. Apple uses its hardware, software, and app store. As a result, Apple can make the most of its products. Theoretically, Apple has one major edge over its rivals. Many other businesses attempted to imitate Apple's success with smartphones, including Microsoft, which chose to experiment with Nokia and Microsoft Windows phones. Although nothing much has changed in the smartphone industry, we know that Tesla makes high-end products and may expect the same from its smartphone. Nothing, by the way, includes anything noteworthy or unusual. Perhaps we're not paying enough attention because new smartphones are released practically every week. And we occasionally forget what the major advancements in the smartphone market are. Tesla looked to be on the verge of a discovery that would change everything. This is because the Tesla smartphone will be the first to incorporate Starlink satellite connection, which is important, but what exactly are we referring to? For those of you who are unaware, Elon Musk and SpaceX are interested in colonizing the Red Planet. However, they're also working on the ambitious Starlink project, which aims to provide satellite internet to everyone on the planet particularly to those who lack access to a fiber internet connection or have unreliable internet service providers. As a result, we can be confident that the Tesla smartphone will be immediately connected to Starlink. Now let's talk about the layout. The smartphone being tested could include a Super AMOLED display, which is likely to be a feast for the eyes with all those brilliant colors and contrast. When it comes to storage, you may anticipate between 1 and 2 terabytes, more than 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 6.5 inch screen. You can also expect Tesla to create its mobile processor, or it might decide to work with Qualcomm to create the newest and finest mobile processor. The Tesla Pi is claimed to have a special covering that extends beyond the body of the gadget. 
and will change color depending on how light strikes the surface, just like so many other smartphones today. Since their smartphone will be competing with other high-end cell phones in the test, the majority of users will merely put a cover on it instead. Therefore, a compelling argument won't enable you to protect your investment. However, it's still a nice little wood design element. You could also find some of the most well-liked smartphone trends using this particular device, like several cameras with telephoto, wide-angle and ultra-wide lenses as well as macro and depth sensors. These days, some of the most powerful cameras on smartphones are to be expected. Tesla may also make use of artificial intelligence to maximize those powerful sensors, albeit we're not yet sure what it'll be able to do. We will discover a lot more once Tesla releases this new smartphone to the public. Since the Tesla Model Pi will also utilize a solar panel to charge the phone, we surely don't anticipate the solar power to be situated behind the smartphone. Tesla could just provide a gadget that would let you solar charge your smartphone as an alternative. Maybe you have a power bank that can be powered by solar energy and it can charge your smartphone quickly. It makes perfect sense for Tesla to do this so you can carry the smartphone everywhere because you essentially have the power of the sun in your hands. However, the ability to link to your Tesla electric vehicle is perhaps the smartphone's best feature, which is why so many people will get a Tesla phone for themselves. We currently provide smartphone applications for Tesla vehicles for some basic essential functions like locking and unlocking the car, regulating media playback, and even summoning the vehicle. However, because of the Tesla smartphone's close connection to the Tesla car, you may control your vehicle directly from the lock screen or by pushing a button on the outside. You can even access features that are exclusive to the Tesla smartphone. There are some reports that a smartphone would truly support cryptocurrencies because Musk has always been so interested in them and was able to pump and dump several publicly listed cryptocurrencies using his Twitter account. The Pi variant will furthermore be Starlink compatible. If you're unfamiliar with Starlink or this is your first exposure to it, it is an ambitious project of Elon Musk's SpaceX that seeks to create a vast constellation of satellites that will provide satellite internet to every person on the planet. However, SpaceX's present goal with a Starlink project is to give those who don't have the luxury of a fiber internet connection or whose internet speeds are absurdly poor access to the internet. What you can expect from satellite internet is a usual speed of around 150 megabits per second which is sufficient for most people. This makes a lot of sense, especially for those who are always on the move. The rear panel's color will change depending on the angle at which light reflects off its surface, thanks to unique coating that's concealed inside the phone's casing. Although this is nothing new, we should wait to see how Tesla will handle the problem. Most people may not even notice if the colors change because we all use cases for our telephones to properly protect them. Particularly in light of the Tesla variant Pi's price range, which ranges from $1,200 for the base model to $4,000 for the top-end variant. The most costly model will presumably be the satellite-powered smartphone. This suggests that Tesla is carving out a brand new market niche for itself to dominate. Therefore, if you want to own a satellite-based smartphone, especially a reliable one, your only option would undoubtedly be the Tesla Model Pi. Additionally, Duralink compatibility is claimed. If you're not aware, Neuralink is a firm that specializes in building brain-computer interfaces with ultra-high bandwidth that link users' brains to computers, so that you may control your smartphone with only your mind without using your fingers or even your voice, because your thinking is more powerful than anything else. This concludes our discussion of the Tesla Pi phone for today, present time. Would you personally think about moving from an iPhone or Android to a Tesla phone? Tell us in the video's comments, please. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay up with all of our activities. Thanks for watching.